The opinions expressed in the following program are not necessarily those of Eastlink TV, its sponsors, or partners. For once in my life, I do not have to go and search out Putin. It's come to me. It's Putin Fest. First time ever here in Sudbury. We've got a local vendor here. We've got a bunch of people from out of town. And of course, we have got Putin. What kind of Putin? You're going to have to watch and see what it is. But I'm telling you, this is not your ordinary average chip truck. This is Putin on a whole new level. Putin Fest in downtown Sudbury, and we've got somebody who is local, which is great. Now, Blaine, with Bobos, you guys are a barbecue truck, yes. but you're making a killing here at Putin Fest. Oh, uh, we're busy. <laughs> yeah, very busy. And I mean, look at this. This is a sampler that you made up for me, which, I, I mean, I, I'm salivating at this. People are talking well, about your time. Where you get the fork in your mouth? I can imagine. I probably won't say too much, so I'll just get this out of the way here while I can. What does it mean to you to be involved in something like this in a first-year event? Um, very, very overwhelming. It's very busy. Um, very hard to judge a crowd, but it is crowds excellent. Good turnout. Great people in Sudbury. Very good appetites, um, and they're looking for a good quality uh, meal. Um, it's great. It's busy. So when they asked you to be a part of it, what were some of the ideas going through your head? Because this is an eclectic menu that you have. Yes, uh, I make everything homemade. I have smokers going, I have uh, full-time cookers going on my property, and um, I just come up with ideas and tastes. Uh, my mom taught me how to cook. She was good. So did mine, as did yeah, my Nona yeah. and my grandmother yeah, on my dad's exactly. side. I mean, in our family, when it came to making big meals any day, it ended in why really was oh, yeah. a good, yeah, good idea exactly. for that. So I just want to give that to the customers. So I mean, one of the nice things is that again, you're local, and uh, this is a chance for you to, you know, give to the community. Yes. But you've also got some charity aspirations as well. Yes, we are, we're thinking about uh, being involved with the Moose Lodge, um, and we'd like to uh, do freezer orders, meat pies, lasagnas, um, shepherd's pies, um, at a very reasonable price to give elderly people healthy meals. Um, and also we'd like to donate a, a dollar out of every meal to helping them stay active in the community. Um, meaning if they need to go out to bingo, they haven't been out, we take them. There's a, there's a fund for them. Take, yeah. And that's great. Boots, we take them, not just drop the boots off, just get them out and socialize. So when you come up with your menu for something like this, what are some things that maybe have not worked for you? That kind of surprised you? That not worked? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I come up with the ideas, but they just come and um, I'm on the Food Network all the time watching and just loving international cuisine. Been to Jamaica, I do my Jamaican jerk chicken. Um, do you use I, pimento wood? Uh, no, if we had some, I would. It's uh, expensive. It's expensive and no, I use apple wood for all my smoking. You want to know a secret? Yes. Put uh, nutmeg cloves in your smoker box. I'm not a nutmeg guy. But that, I, that substitutes for I, the pimento. Nut, nutmeg is not my favorite. Um, but. We do our ribs with Sudbury local blueberries. We rub those, marinate them for two days. Then we put our seasoning on. Then we smoke everything. Our ribs are smoked, our pulled porks are smoked for 18 hours. Our porchettas are cooked at a 200 degrees, 18 hours. Everything's fall off the bone. That's incredible. Yeah. I came up with the Thai Putin in a dream and it all came together exactly and I, I'm almost sold out of it. <laughs> it's great. It's unbelievable flavor. I'd love for you to try it. Okay, from Bobo's Blaine, uh, explain to us what we got going on here, because this, to me, this is, it, I'm almost, I'm almost tearing up looking All at right. this. Well, this is my staple pulled pork poutine. This is my Jamaican jerk chicken poutine. Uh, this is something I came up with because I was really disappointed in the quality of the bacon. That, so I got pork bellies and smoked those and seasoned them. And those are my candied pork belly poutine. 
And this is my tie putin that I had a dream about and it came together perfectly. Your, that was your mother that was telling us the story? The lady in the back was telling us the story? Yes. And uh, yeah, I had to make sure you got that out because I mean, that's incredible. Okay, what, what a funny story that is. But yeah, that's, this, really, that's a shrimp tie putin. Oh, shrimp on a putin. I've already squeezed the lime on here. Does that blend? Thank you. That's why I do it. You would pay $30 in a high-end restaurant oh, yes. for Thai food like this. Yes, absolutely. This poutine on your truck today is selling for what? Sixteen? $15. $15. Yes. This is worth every penny and more, and uh, I mean, I'm a Try bacon that. guy, Try so that. I was I was hoping for Try the candied that. bacon, but yeah. wow. Get a little bit of cheese in there. All right, so we're going to dig it in. Caramel popcorn. If you focus in on this eye, you can see the tear that's just starting to well up in this tear duct. That is. My best, That's description, my best description is caramel salted popcorn on a putin. That is glorious. Oh, God. I like the dark fries. Yes, I. Because I like the crisp on them. Well, I. It's a lot Would of. Would that pulled pork? Oh. And I'm not saving the Jamaican jerk chicken for last for any particular reason, but. But it, it is unbelievable. Something has to be lost. Oh. This is a work of art. Thank you. Blaine, Thank you. you should be incredibly proud of this. I am very proud of that. And I seriously hope that everybody in Greater Sudbury and beyond, everybody who's here at Putin Fest, yep. comes and tries this because this is wow. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Wow. That. Okay. Awesome. Enjoy. Eat it all. I'm going to just jam my face into this when he turns You're the camera off. Awful. Go ahead. Bobo's, this is, this is a local gem. You got to come here and try this at Putin Fest. I got the pulled pork putin, and it's amazing. Where did this one come from? Uh, it came from Bobo's Barbecue, and uh, we actually didn't have to wait that long, so it was very nice. Excellent. And you just went more with the traditional plain? Yeah, I just went traditional cheese curds, gravy. <laughs> My belly is full, and I'm sure my voicemail is with cardiologists calling to talk to me about what you've seen so far, but you know what? There's more to come, because we aren't done yet here with Off the Chip Wagon as part of Putin Fest in downtown Sudbury. Putin Fest, downtown Sudbury at the Putinery with Brendan. What do you think so far? Awesome. Uh, looks like Sudbury loves Putin. They really do love Putin, and you've got a bit of an interesting story. You have been in Southeast Asia for 18 years, yeah, yeah, cooking down there. Plus. Not, no, not cooking, uh, but living and eating down there for sure. So what was the big culture shock then coming back to cook for North American people? Oh, well, you see the, uh, the, the portions. One thing. And everything is beige. Everything's they're, they're, they're great at beige. North America is great at beige food. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we noticed over there that it's a lot more colorful, a lot of greens, things that they can get, you know. Well, actually, it's what we're doing here, right? We're eating the local potatoes. Excellent. It's very much there. The Valley they'll, growers. They'll, they'll eat the local produce. It's just equatorial, so they have so much more green things all year around. It influences the diet. So here, the portions are much bigger, uh, and much more filling portions. Uh, more protein, I would say, but much, much larger portions. Well, your poutine selection here, I mean, there's a good number of some really strange things. Cheeseburgers, poutines, you see every now and again, but the Montreal smoked meat poutine, and I'm really interested to try this. That yeah. sounds delicious. It, it's, it's really nice, because the Montreal smoked meat flavor with the potatoes, it's something you would eat 
quite traditional, the potatoes and meat, right? Yep, and a little bit of mustard on That's there to right. those, those ones work well. Bacon, uh, cheeseburger, you know, beef burger, and uh, uh, Montreal smoked meat. They, they work really well with potatoes. So then you talk about wanting to add color. Have you considered bringing some of your Southeast Asia influences into the into the poutine truck? Well, potatoes are a bit of a... Uh, or a base, I haven't thought about it, you know, I really, I'm not really sure what flavors, chili maybe, something spicy like a Thai, a Thai style, I'm not sure. Because I think you could probably get away with some type of curry, like a shrimp curry. Well, you know, it's big in England, so it would probably attract something in between maybe, like a curry instead of a gravy, that's a good idea. You can try if it out. If you put this on the menu and becomes a hit, just it's remember this conversation, <laughs> because we've recorded it, so patent yeah, pending. Got the, uh, this guy right here gets the royalties on that. Thank you very much. Enjoy the show. We're going to get a chance to try some of the poutine here. This is uh, going to be spectacular at Poutine yeah, well, Fest. You know, take your time. They're pretty big portions. <laughs> okay, Brandon, what do we have here from the poutinery at Poutine Fest? Well, we start off with uh, amazing, I have to admit it, Sudbury potatoes. Valley growers. Yeah, very good. Uh, we're impressed with the uh, freshness and the, uh, the consistency. We chipped them at the uh, chipper. I don't know if uh, you can see that in there, Chris, the chipper above the sink. So oh, we yes. take the potatoes. And we we make the chips ourselves. You get your arm workout. Oh, my shoulders last night were aching. Uh, we moved them over. We blanched them. We fry them. We uh, then dress them. And what you have here is uh, gravy on the bottom with uh, poutine. You have a traditional poutine underneath. And then on top you have a uh, beef burger with a uh, cheese. So sauce. this is your cheeseburger poutine. And notice the pickles. Yeah, pickles. And I am very quickly becoming a convert to the pickles on a poutine because it adds that little bit of sour and salty. Yeah, a little bit of a spark. I love the cook on your fries. It's a poutine and it can't really go wrong because you're talking about a burger. It's a burger and fries in a dish. Literally. Yeah. I love the cook how on your fries. How can it go wrong? You it's got great, a really huh? nice color. It's great. really nice and crisp. The oh, cheese sauce that you have here, thank, awesome. Thank the meteor. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> All hail the mighty meteor oh, and its poutine growing abilities. Well, it is, so, honestly. They're really good potatoes, I gotta say. And again, I'm a convert to the pickles on the poutine. Well, then you might love this one. This is the Montreal smoked meat. As I shovel one more bite. There you go. So far, uh, a little more refined culture. <laughs> From uh, La Belle Provence. Yeah, now this gives you a little of a, uh, a bit of a salty, I would say. Just a bit saltier to the, uh, the other one, but the Montreal smoked meat has a nice flavor. Yep, and again, we got mustard on this one, which is something you don't see on poutine yeah, very often. Yeah, that really rocks with the meat. It really sets the meat off. Man, I'm gonna try and get a little pickle on this there as well. Going, going to work, sir. Oh, yeah. yeah. You don't go to Disneyland just to see the castle. <laughs> no. If you're gonna have the Montreal smoked meat poutine, Do it. you want the cheese, the mustard, the meat, <laughs> the pickles, Regular connoisseur, huh? I am a food connoisseur. Well, I, if you couldn't tell by my smell figure, <laughs> I like to say I get fatter with every episode. And something better. like this, this is better. Better is good. Better. Go. better. I, I put on my winter coat. There you go. There we go. Something like this, I would be coming back for more and more yeah, of this. Enjoy that. This one is really good, and I, I'm going to shed a tear for that little soldier I just lost there. <laughs> well, I'll awesome. happy you enjoy it. Chris? Poutinery, Poutine, Poutine Fest in downtown. I, I'm so happy I can't even talk. <laughs> Poutine Fest in downtown Sudbury. The Montreal smoked meat Poutine, the cheeseburger Poutine. Hopefully you have a chance to try these. These Come are awesome. Come on get in line. <laughs> yeah, get in line. Poutine Fest, first time here in Sudbury. Riley, you are the organizer of this lovely event. Yeah. What do you think so far? It's been a great turnout. We've already had, uh, yesterday we had 8,000 people through the door and all of our vendors have been doing great. Uh, we had the Bobby Wells last night. So it's been it's been amazing. And obviously for an event like this, I mean, there's gonna be some growing pains and there might be some grumbling, but I mean, you'll take all that criticism and if it comes back for, you know, next year, just gonna make it bigger and better, right? Exactly, we wanna make sure that Subway has lots of Putin every year. So we definitely take everything in and we go back and fix any little hiccups. All right, so then as a poutine aficionado, can we call you that? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. What yeah. is your <laughs> personal favorite poutine? Definitely traditional. I'm traditional? a traditional girl, 100%. Squeaky curds? Yes. All right. Yes. Can a poutine be made with uh, grated cheese? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I like that. I like that. All right, so when we take a look at this and uh, how things have uh, developed, and you know, you're saying we're getting good crowds through here, what's something maybe you'd like to add for next year? 
Um, I think uh, we are definitely going to try to get some more vendors and some definitely, we want more local vendors. Um, many of our vendors here right now um, in Sudbury aren't mobile. So hoping that they will start to become mobile so that we can actually move them onto site, that's a big deal for us. There's a whole thing though with uh, the health unit and there's actually differences in how you uh, can prepare your food based on whether or not your wheels are on the ground or they're elevated. I think that's why a lot of our places here are, are mm -hmm. kind of stationary like that. But I mean there's some great pretend to be had here in Sudbury and a lot of these vendors from out of town and they're bringing some different things here. Yes. There's a candied bacon poutine, there's a Thai poutine that I saw. Lobster the, uh, and hollandaise. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm, I'm waiting to dig a fork into that one because that just sounds absolutely out of this world. Have you tried them all? I have not tried them all. I haven't had time to try them all. <laughs> My concern is that I'm going to have enough time to do the P90X afterwards and combat <laughs> all the poutine that I've eaten over the, the course of the next couple of days here. Yes. So, I mean, overall, great day. We got sunshine, and that's, that's the best thing we can hope for, right? 100%. It's going to be a great day. All right, Poutine Fest, downtown Sudbury, first time ever. Hope you're coming down to support it. All right, so even though I'm being fed, I, uh, strangely enough, I'm still feeling a little bit on the peckish side, so... I'm just going to cut into line here and, uh, and get some food. You guys okay with me just cutting in line? Well, fine. I didn't want to give you the East Link utensils anyway. We'll be back off the chip wagon at Putin Fest, downtown Sudbury. <laughs> Tough crowd. So here we are at Putin Fest and we're looking at something a little bit different. We're with Milan here from Heavenly Dreams. You're all the way from Toronto for this event. Oh yes, we came all the way from Toronto for just the Putin Fest for Sudbury. And it's funny because, I mean, you're at a Putin Fest with an ice cream truck, but I mean, who doesn't love sweets? Yeah. You know, come on. <laughs> so your special menu for this, it's pretty eclectic there between the sundaes, the milkshakes and the slushies. And the one thing that really stands out for me, yeah. nerds. I yeah. loved nerds as a kid. Oh yeah, a lot of kids love that. So you also have some dips here as well, the peanut butter, the strawberry. Is that for cones or you just drizzle cones, that over yeah. the top? For the cones. When you come to an event like this, Milan, what has to be the biggest seller for you? Well, people come to the festival for something new, right? Like they don't, you, you see the same cone over and over, over the years, you know? They want to see something new. They want to try something new, right? So that's why we are brought special Sundays, like crispy crunch Sunday, cookie dough, cheesecake, and all kind of different kind of topping, chocolate, butterscotch, strawberry, cherry, blue raspberry. Like, uh, you know what I mean? That's it, it gets the people's attention. And know? the simple fact that I mean, you're selling ice cream, and what's going to be a, a like an absolutely gorgeous Northern Ontario weekend here. I think that you're going to have one of the longer lines here. What do you find is uh, one of the more challenging aspects of coming to a food festival like this and not actually selling poutine? Uh, well, it's a dessert, right? So wherever I go, like, I'm kind of welcomed. Everybody loves to have a sweet, you know? Oh, who doesn't love ice cream? Uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, it, if my abdominal area tells me one thing, I love ice cream. Yeah. Surprise, spoiler alert. <laughs> I can kill tubs of it. You also have a pretty big banana boat there that looks like you're yeah. selling. Yeah, that's a, that's a good seller at the festivals too. Is that a one person job, the banana boat, or is this one of these things where you try to share with a friend? Uh, it's pretty big. It's all, it's all about if, you, if you're really craving that banana boat with all that sweet, you can have it to yourself. But it's pretty big for one person. And then, of course, they can try some of those new toppings on there. Oh, and yeah, maybe if they slid you a five, you'd sprinkle some nerds on the top, too? <laughs> no, you don't have to slid me a no. five. <laughs> well, that's even better, then. You got slushies for the kids here and everything. Yeah, popsicles, snow cone, you know what I mean? Ice cream, milkshakes. What else can you ask for? <laughs> I'm sure you're going to have a wonderful time here this weekend at Putin yeah. Fest. I'm sure, like I said, there's going to be huge lines. And I'm fairly confident I'm going to see you, too, because, again, I love ice cream. All right. <laughs> nice meeting you, Milan. Thank you, man. Heavenly Dreams, check it out at Putin Fest here in Sudbury. Okay, so Milan all the way from Toronto with Heavenly Dreams. The one nice thing about this, no pigeons. Oh, yeah. We, <laughs> pigeons. We, put that, we should put that actually on the tourist brochure for Sudbury. <laughs> so what have you made for us today from your sweet truck? So I got the cheesecake and strawberry sundae over here. And this one is a cookie dough with chocolate sauce. 
I mean, both of those, that's a great combination together. I'll take this one just because it's falling over and I'm making a giant mess here. I love cookie <laughs> dough to begin with. Enjoy. Your soft ice cream is almost more of a soft whip. Yeah. Like a lot of people, when they go to get soft ice cream, it's a completely different texture and a flavor than this is. So I'm not sure if it's a recipe you're using, but that's good. That's something that's gonna stand out, which is great. And I mean, I, who doesn't love chocolate and cookie dough? Oh yeah, it's, it's one of the popular ones. And cheesecake on Sunday, you can't go wrong, right? No. Get a nice big strawberry on there with a piece of cheesecake. <laughs> and again, very much a, a whip style, almost like a Hawaiian style ice cream. Yeah. The way you can really taste that heavy cream in there. And it doesn't, this comes over as a, a solid, yeah. solid soft serve in terms of the recipe for this. And there's a stereotype that can be said because I've actually got a pregnant woman standing behind me here yeah. who says it's for daughter, though she hasn't quite specified if it was the one on the street or the one in the little tum tum <laughs> there. But we won't get into that because she doesn't want to be on camera. Milan, this is awesome. I hope you do well this weekend. Right, thank you very much. Heavenly dreams yeah, at Poutine have a good Fest. Weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Now, there's been some uh, interesting poutines. They've got a lobster one here, the yeah. Thai one, shrimp. Yeah. There's a turkey one. Yeah, there's a duck one I think they had yesterday as well. Yeah. Oh, I missed out on the duck one there. The vegetarian one surprised me. It was uh, that good. Oh, wow. excellent. As you can tell, I'm, I I don't eat a lot of vegetables. Healthy yesterday milk. we had the yeah. uh, bison one from uh, Smokes, and that was pretty good. Yep, I had that this morning as well. All right, so on. then being a couple, would you do the cutesy thing and feed each other? <laughs> if, you, <yeah. laughs> if you'd like. Okay. I'd actually like you to feed me, but I'll let you <laughs> feed each other. Oh! Now you return it for him. This is like a matchmaker set here. This is great. This is so romantic. It is romantic. And you know what's going to make it even more romantic? When you each put one on the fork and feed each other. <laughs> At the same time? Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's a nice cheese curd for you. Yeah, you ready? When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza <laughs> pie, that's amore. Sorry, baby. It's okay, sweetie. All right, so you're one of the people that I actually stopped in line to offer a sample to, and you continue to move through with your poutine sampling. What did you get this time and from where? Uh, we got, well, we got the, uh, the uh, candy pork, this one here. I think it's called candy pork. Yeah, the pork belly. For pork belly, one. yeah, that's right. And uh, it's awesome. Uh, so worth it. And what did you end up getting? The Thai. It was it's really good. Have you, you obviously enjoyed it because you're about like a third of the way done. Yeah, that was just walking. Just had to eat it walking. Have you had anything else? Uh, no, but you know what? We, we, we knew we liked both uh, because of the samples, so we got both and we're just going to swap halfway through so we get to enjoy both uh, kinds. Well, how about you guys swap right now? Take a nice big forkful and like feed it to each other. All right. It'll be like Lady and the Tramp. I'm not asking you to eat a fry down, but... All right, got to be clean here. So here we go. Look at this. Oh, oh, that's so romantic. Oh, yum, yum, yum. That does, is good. Does he complete that you? That is good. He completes me. That was delicious. <laughs> it was kind of awkward for me being in the middle of this, but well, I'm glad you enjoyed the potato. It's father and son, so I guess you can say it's okay. I've that's okay. multiple times. <laughs> Putin Fest in downtown Sudbury, first time event. And let me tell you, if you build it, I will eat it. And eat, that is exactly what I have done. I am stuffed, I am ready for a nap. But I can't wait till next year. Incredible event, really good organization, spectacular food. And as we look forward to the next edition of Putin Fest, may I say to those coming and all those involved, May the fork be with you. Get that? Because I'm a Star Wars fan. <laughs> but seriously, Putin Fest, it's great.